Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a little bit of an update. Um, I haven't been creating uh, my content for a little bit of a, a time now, probably for about a two-week period. The clips which I have been uploading is ones which I've kind of got, which I've been doing it, but I haven't got around to uploading them. Um, I wanted to put one on today just because um, it was an amazing, very, very special day for my two nieces and nephew's birthday. Um, so I've done that now and I'm really, really pleased that I'm getting that on the channel and I, I love them to pieces, so I love to capture that on my channel. Um, and But now I feel it's important that I do a little bit of an update on here. So unfortunately I haven't been too great, I haven't been too well. I've gone through something quite scary um, in that kind of time. So kind of a little bit of an update on here. So if you don't know me, I have had a history for of hearing problems for about, I would say, coming into probably my 17th year now, maybe even a little bit longer than that, actually. Um, I'm deaf on my left side, and um, I only just have the one ear. I wear a cross system, which they take the hearing from my good side that comes over onto my deaf side with two really great snazzy hearing aids, um, and, and that works really, really well. Well, anything like a cold or a flu virus or something like that for me, and I, I'm sure a lot of people will... Um, understand that with a lot of other health conditions that they can exacerbate what you go through on a daily basis. So I've not been feeling myself, but I didn't feel under the weather or anything really like that at all. I just kind of felt not myself, felt a little bit flat, I suppose. Didn't really think that anything was too, too much was wrong. Um, and then I started getting an echo over what I was hearing on my good side. And straight away, of course, when you've had such a history of hearing related problems and balance related problems, you start to think that something is changing or something's happening. Um, I said to my mum the prior week when all of this started, and it's been going on for we're coming into the second week, all of this has been kind of happening now with my hearing and things. And um, I was saying to my mum, my hearing doesn't feel quite right, it feels different. Um, I've got volume controls on my hearing aid, so it's, it works really, really good, but my head wasn't feeling on top of things and I suffer with vertigo at times as well throughout the year. Usually I get a bad attack of it perhaps I'd say once a year um, but often that's not kind of whooshy sort of feeling where everything spins off and that real horrible nasty vertigo um, which I know a lot of people will be able to relate to but I, I have that um, and, and it's it is difficult sometimes. It's like sometimes if I'm led down um, in the morning, I can't just get straight up. I've got to give myself a little bit of time, compose myself with my head and everything, and then I can go about my day in one thing or another. I and mean, then sometimes, of course, if, some, if I get a bit stressed, I get quite a, a nasty sort of episode of it then as well. And we've had quite a bit of stress in the family and things going on. And I'm, I'm a thinker. I'm very soft hearted. So I go over a lot of it in my mind. And of course, when we go to bed at night, um, I've been waking up in one thing or another. And unfortunately, seizures have been coming back. I've, I've had a few experience of those so I've got a, um, an appointment coming up to do some tests and things on that as well. Um, last time it was put down to stress but I know I've had a couple more which my parents have seen me through and um, I live in the family home at the moment so it's been a lot going on um, but thankfully the last two days my hearing in this area started to come back and after doing some tests with my family doctor um, it turned out that it was some kind of rare bacterial uh, infection which was picked up in the laboratories when the test went off which is amazing but the difficulty was trying to get the medication because it was quite um, it wasn't one that was used often uh, it was it had to be ordered in so I still haven't got the right medication yet for it but um, I have got something else to get me through the discomfort and the pain but it it has literally felt like that I've been losing my hearing completely I'm in a bubble I'm in a tin can there's an echo what I can hear and I could barely hear myself speak it was very very stressful I still managed to work through that I work in finance so I was able to work from home um, and now I've just got like the end tail remittance of just sort of like a cold or a flu bug. But of course that is fine. I could absolutely no problem at all with that. But my hearing not being able to hear. So it was obviously something affecting that. But first of all, it was very much I was going through the problems of not being able to hear one to another. So that really, really has knocked me for six with my hearing. Um, other than that, of course, the problems sort of which we've just discussed upon an appointment coming up, which is quite stressful. And then I, I wake up in the morning after those sort of like seizure events and it's almost like they've had a real hard bang to the head. So that's something which I'm, I'm sort of a bit puzzled of, a bit sort of stressed out. And that's coming up this Friday. Um, and of course, losing the amount of hair, which I've been losing this year since May as well. And I've, I've been reviewing those products for Neoxin, uh, 
the daytime sort of thicker hair solution with Sandalore and the nighttime solution with Oxidine in. Those have been absolutely incredible and they have really, really thickened areas up in my hairline. I don't mind really showing you in here. Now, this was the area right to back here. As you can see, the density is still not as full and thick, but this is, it's just coming through so much more thicker now and it's coming through a bit quicker as well. And just in here, but it's much, much thicker. As you can see, my hairline, I don't mind showing now, is that actually this is getting, so it's here and it's here but as you can tell it's coming back through thicker and fuller and that's why i was quite shocked when i wanted some advice about if there was anything i could use as a preventative measure um of course not wanting to jump onto minoxidil with the amount of hair i've got now and finasteride in one thing and another um i didn't want to i didn't want to do that why when you don't necessarily have to and do you know what the person through the valgrave i've done a clip about this that to please just be careful out there if you are looking at things to to support yourself your body with and you're going through hair loss and you're looking for treatments and and things to be able to help with my amount of hair it was very very quick that the belgravia center was actually they were okay to tick the box and to diagnose me with male pattern related baldness and i mean i looked back at pictures that years and years ago i've always had fine textured hair my i've always had a cowlick here so this has never been the thickest part of my hair but i've always had something here and in, since may has got a little bit more uh, open and a little bit more i'd say sparse but with the Neoxin products I'm using in the shampoo and conditioner, it's growing through thicker. If you've got male pattern baldness, this creeps up, doesn't it? The back gets thinner. I don't believe I have that. If I have, then it's not the, the end of the world. Of course it's not, not at all. There are things and things you can do uh, to help that. But I just found that it was very, very quick to sell me something, to sell me something quite extortionate. I wasn't happy with the experience. I wasn't happy that actually I press sent on the pictures, which they asked with my scalp. No sooner I press sent, the phone rung, I answered, and yes, yes, it's exactly what we thought it was, male pattern baldness. Really? No, was not happy with that, certainly wouldn't recommend it at all. So that, of course, was just sort of like, not a worry or anything, but it was a bit of an anxiety, and it was almost like something playing on my mind, because, of course, our hair... It's our personality, isn't it? It's our character, men and women. It has the power to make us feel on top of the world. It has the power to give us a really bad sort of feeling about ourselves, our confidence. So we all want to feel and look our best. So that's kind of been going on as well. Um, it's, yeah, just <laughs> a lot. Um, but on a good note, my hair's going through thicker now. I've just applied uh, within the last fortnight just actually before this happened with my hearing and i've interviewed for my next role so i feel really really proud about the fact that actually when we say goodbye to 2022 i've had a promotion this year three months only three months i've been in that role and i've applied for the next role up as well so stepping up on that ladder so i'm really really proud about that in finance and accountancy it's a really really hard world to sort of um to make yourself seen to make your skills shine that type of thing to be able to sort of I'm worthy type thing. So I really, really hope that's gone well. I interviewed for that role. Um, so I really hope that that goes very, very well. That was yesterday. I feel very proud of that fact as well. Um, and yeah, and of course, Christmas. But having said that beforehand, we had Thanksgiving. I have a tradition in my family. I've done it now. I think this was my ninth year. I loved America's Thanksgiving. I always have. I've always been in awe of it. Always absolutely loved it. I love, however, the getting together, the family together, the, the being thankful for everybody around the table for everything we have in this life. And I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm going to start something like this in my family on Thanksgiving because for one, we're all in my family. We're all so much, so much busy people and there's lots of ways going on. And I love, even just my family home, that my mum and my dad and my brother and, and whoever's is around is, of course, welcome my family to come straight away. And, it, and it's just nice. And, and I do a meal and we all come, to get, we come together and um, it's lovely. And I really, really love that. Um, so I've done that now. This is my ninth year of doing it and um, made me a little bit longer. And I absolutely love that fact. So we go all out. And, and I do it, or uh, usually it's my mum. So that was really, really lovely. And then, of course, the Black Friday, spent loads, done loads. Um, me and my mum always usually do some sort of Christmas browsing and shopping one thing or another. This year I did with my twin brother, it was really, really cool. Um, so that was really, really great. Um, and of course, Christmas preparations. So if <laughs> and hopefully all my subscribers will know, but my Christmas shopping is done. I have so much to buy. I've got nieces, um, I've got a nephew who I buy for, um, I have got um, the sister-in-law, I've got brothers, mum, dad, grandparents. I go all out, I spend loads, I buy all weird and wonderful gifts. Um, I really try to get the character of the person down to the ground, and I start 
as soon as fin as soon as summer's finished, I would say, Christmas is switching on for me. Um, so when I come into December, I like everything to be done. It's just the decorations to go up then on that first weekend in December. So hopefully around about the second or third of December, I think it is this weekend. Um, all the tr all the decorations will be going up. All the Christmas trees, all the lights will be going up. It is a huge overhaul, but I absolutely love it. And I get involved with that as well. I absolutely really, really do enjoy that. So love Christmas. Absolutely love Christmas. I would certainly call myself Mr. Christmas. Love that. So that's really great all coming up. And all the Christmas shopping's done now. I, I always have that in my head that when I come into December, at least the Christmas shopping's got to be done. All the gifts have got to be done. So amazing. And I always write myself a list. Always write myself a list, always go through, literally, I have the name of the person, the gifts what I bought them, and I, and I go through the whole family. Um, and I love that, and that's me, all about preparation. And I have to be prepared, and I have to do it early, because then I've got to help my dad with his, and I've got to help my brother with his. And yeah, lots to do. And I always offer to help my sister-in-law, and, and one thing or another, and different people in the family with wrapping and one thing or another, because I love wrapping, and the ribbon, and the tissue paper, and making it a perfect presentation to give. Christmas is all about giving, and I absolutely love that. Um, of course, it's not about receiving gifts. It's all about giving. But of course, it's it's those special times. It's that sort of switching off at the end of the year, not having to, to think about anything, be stressed, but to come together, to be happy, to be healthy and well, and to come together in that family love, in that wonderful, wonderful time. And for me, I am a faith, so absolutely, it really does have a religious aspect for me as well, which I love, and that's very, very dear to my heart through my dear Nan, who I no longer have, and this will be the second Christmas about her. And it is breaking my heart already. It really, really is. It's been, it's really tough without her. And, um, not to have my nan by my side throughout with this. I'm blessed to have incredible parents, my incredible best friend of a mum and best friend of a father and, and my brothers and my niece, nephew and my and my sister-in-law. And, and yeah, I've got some really, really amazing, blessed with family. But I, I really do wish that I had my nan. I really do. I feel awful for saying that, but she, she was my world. Um, she really was. This is a cheesy point. I always say that my heart was split in two. Half my mum, half my nan. And I am yet to give my heart away to my wonderful wife. Where the hell is she? <laughs> but but there we go. Um, so that's what I always think anyway. But I, my nan, I'm I'm sure is up above looking down over me and in my prayers all the time. She really is. But that's a bit of an update for me. So a bit of a, a grim sort of going on with the hearing. And but touch wood, that's coming back now. I'm on some different medication. However, it's like a medication which is really stinging, making my ears sore. Um, I haven't got this hearing aid in as well. I've only got the one, so it's not really working too well either. But that's what it is. So fine, fit well and healthy. And you know what I always say? Nobody is promised to tomorrow. And if we are blessed with another, let's grab it with both hands and let's run with it. So on that note, thank you very, very much for being here. You're blessed. Take great care. I hope your sort of latter autumnal season after having a great Halloween. Amazing if you've celebrated Thanksgiving and of course the bonfire, um, that sort of time period as well. And then of course all the, the sort of the Christmas shopping and things. Do stay safe. It's a busy time of the year with everybody going on. As much as we hear amazing things, there are also sad sorrows as well, which goes on this time of year too. So open your heart a little bit more than when you are normally would. Um, spread the joy, spread the cheer and spread the love. Um, okay, so thank you very much. God bless. Take great care. And I will be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.